Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, dear viewers, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to go straight back to our filmmaker, inshallah, he's a director as well and I producer, am. everything. Tell us about your um, project first. Uh, so, I'm working on a project called Classified Freaks. Uh, it's a brand new superhero comedy drama web series, and these guys are in it. Um, and it just explores what it means to be human um, and, you know, um, what may necessarily be different about us. We have more things in common than, than what separates us. Um, and what we talked about today about generational gap, um, that's also a little bit explored in the web series, you know, about, you know, the elder generation of, that they, they think they know best because of their experience, but then, you know, uh, children or teenagers of this generation, their experience is very different because times have changed. Um, and so there's that conflict there. Um, and um, yeah, um, Classified Freaks is going to be uh, available to watch on YouTube, hopefully very soon. Uh, I'm looking to release the first episode in, in February, because I know people have been literally just, you know, <laughs> bugging me to say, when's it coming out, when's it coming out, when's it coming out? And it's going to come out. And it's just taking a little bit more longer than I thought, a lot more longer than I thought, but it'll be worth it. And when you watch it, you'll see um, very subtle themes, universal themes. Where do you get the time from? You're working full time and then you're also doing this directing and all that stuff. Yeah. Where do you get the time from? I, I do it at the weekends. So I work Monday to Friday and, and during the weekends, every Sunday, um, I'll spend time uh, with these guys or the other team crew members and we'd rehearse, we'd go through the script uh, and we shoot. Um, and so it, it you, can be you, you write the script as well? I do write it, uh, but these guys also read the script and they can, uh, they provide additional material or they uh, improvise um, on the day. So um, I, I write sort of uh, a working script and then these guys can, can sort of change it. So you could say they're sort of um, additional Fantastic. writers. In ben, tell me what's your part in that? Um, sounds quite serious, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, got, like, I mean, we sort of put our character into the words of the script as well. We sort of change up sort of, uh, I think. Okay, we have a caller. I'm just going to get to the yeah, caller. No, sure, sure. Assalamu alaikum caller. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Baya, where are you calling from and your name, please, Baya? I am English 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 Ji, matu kafne, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum, mama. Apne bala ni? Wa alaikum salam. Kita hura bala aso. Ji, bala si mama. Apne kita hura. Matu na program dekhiya ko shundaru lagir. Aye. Apne 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 kita amda zata matra ma. Apne kita pro thoughts kita. Aye. Ami wahanu koi tam sahi da. Ami zene tu matu na boy shor jara aso ni desho amra bacha bacha. Shogalot to shianu ida. আমরা তো খুব গরিব দেশের মানুষই দেশ আইসি আই আই দেশ তো আমরা গর সংসার বান্ধিলিছি তা আমরা আর দেশর গরিব দুঃখীরে বলতা না তোমা তো ইয়াং জেনারেশন যারা সব সময় সাহায্য সহায়তা করতা হেল্প করতা থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ খুব সুন্দর কথা কইছেন আপনি সুয়েল বলে দোয়া করবা ইনশাআল্লাহ আর আমরা লাগে দোয়া করবা থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ফর ইওর কল আসসালামু আলাইকুম বাবা আসসালামু আলাইকুম দ্যাট ওয়াজ মাই আঙ্কেল বাই দ্য ওয়ে ফ্রম ওল্ডম ফ্রম মাই মামস সাইড uh, he just, I think he was saying, do you want to say? No, no, you say it, go on. He was just saying that, you know, when they were in Bangladesh, um, you know, they, were, they had to make a lot of sacrifices to come here. And they're saying that the kids of our generation should never forget that. And we should be grateful for it. Um, and try to remember that, you know, in life there is hardship. Um, and try to be humble. Um, and I think that's what he's saying. Although there is a generational gap there between us at times, uh, we mustn't forget sort of um, the difficulties that they went through for us to be here where we are today. Fantastic. Um, so um, yeah, it's it's a very important point. Um, yeah, Brilliant, a big one. So Ben, back to you again. You were talking about your role. Um, with your character. <laughs> yeah. So uh, my role, I play Ethan, who is a homeless drifter. I, I'm going to be careful about giving away too much because. Uh, I want to act on it, man. I'm sure you got something, <laughs> some rules yeah. there, man. Um, I'm sure there are some directors watching as well. Come on. He, 
He's not a nice guy. He's quite uh, <laughs> He's a bit selfish. Uh, You'd have said that before. You'd have been sitting there. Man. <laughs> 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 a bit so out, out for himself, but he's, he's got his reasons why. And he's very fun to play because he's, he's sarcastic, which ties in well with myself. You know, I, I think that's mainly the reason I was picked for the role. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, she was playing down how much he does because, I mean, he does the writing, the filming, the directing, and all of the editing, which is such a time wow. consuming process. Mm. I worked, because uh, we met in college, college yeah. and we were doing multimedia design. And so I, I know just as well how much work that is. And a lot of work. I'm not as good at it as he is, so <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's doing it, because I would just yeah. ruin it. No. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a lot of fun to work with on set as well because... Can you say a few lines, like your role? <laughs> Is it possible? Just a few lines, not a few lines. Thing. It's basically me, but with a big overcoat on and a okay. hat. <laughs> 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 but, um, oh, this thing. It's difficult. I can start you, Anne. Yeah. Uh, if that's true, why haven't you left the country then? Touche. <laughs> <laughs> I have my reasons. What? <laughs> no, just me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was literally a line from okay. a scene that they did. Yeah. Okay. It would be interesting to know how he directs. I'm going to ask him to say, do something for two, three minutes. It would be interesting. <laughs> something <laughs> new. That's, that's, a, that's a challenge. It would be good. It would be good. Some improv. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your role then? Um, I play um, a character called Sarah, and she's got issues of filial piety, which I really like. And what's really interesting about these characters is it's not just a story about people having superpowers and they want to save the world. It's people with real human issues. Mm. The same way that like, people in your life, your colleague isn't just your colleague, your classmate isn't just your classmate. They all have their own issues and mm. obstacles and conflicts and events to overcome and things that they can't deal with. So with Sarah, she's very tortured. Mm. She's not one of the happy ones. We don't know how she turns out at the end of the series. Give us a clip of your uh, acting, if it's possible. Um, How do you imagine you're doing your role? What would you do? Oh, it's on the spot now. <laughs> yeah. well, I should have the special effects. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to people seeing that. Oh, and um, so it's, 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 it's a difficult one because yeah. literally you have to watch the episode uh, when the first episode comes out because. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like so imagine, imagine you're here, right? Yeah. So we're talking about generational gap. Mm. You're the director. Mm. Can you direct us and do something? <laughs> well, firstly, we'd, we'd have to have a, a script. And then what we do is that we sit down and we go through the script by uh, dry reading. So dry reading means just, just reading the lines, getting a feel of the scene and how you say it. So you know, we'd be sitting down at the table, the three of us, and they'll be saying their lines. I'll just be observing them. And then I'll be saying, okay, you know, that's good. And then what we do next is we actually physically act it out, uh, verbally um, and um, uh, physically, expressively. Um, and I'll watch them and I'll be like, mm, that's not how I imagine how that character would say that line. Um, and then we just go through, it's like a back and forth process, isn't it? Uh, yeah. And then they would tell me whether they think that line works or not, and I get the input. I've just realised something, actually. I mean, the, the dynamic between sort of director, mm. writers, and, and actors is quite similar to the, the dynamic between sort of the older generation and the younger generation. Mm. I mean, the writers and director have an idea about how they want the scene to go, but the writers go out and make it their own. Mm. So. I mean, it's quite yeah, similar it's true, to yeah. that when you think about it. It's a collaborative process. Mm. Is that something um, you want to uh, be an actor? Is that something you want to do in the future? I just want to create, to be honest. I mean, I want to go on to do uh, animations as well. I mean, I want to, I want to build things, like, uh, like gadgets and stuff. I want all sorts of things, really. I just want to make things. I think that, that's... Where do you, where do you see yourself in, f in five years' time? Where do you see yourself? In five years, I mean, I want to have a little workshop where I'm, like, making... Like making films just like here, making little gadgets as well. Just I think that's my pursuit in life is just D creating uh, things. Have you, have you done any uh, gadgets? Have you done any? Or? I'm working on a wrist okay. computer. I have been for several years. I've <laughs> 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 not got much progress on it yet, but yeah, I'm, I'm working with my brother on that in, in the future. And I want to move on to building a home automation system. But I mean, I'm, I'm living at home with mum and dad right now, and they won't let me drill holes in a wall. So that one's on hold for now. <laughs> Do you look up to anyone or has anyone, is there something you want to do from yourself or you've seen something and someone told you to do stuff like that? I'm talking about, do you ha have inspiration from anyone? I wish I had the drive that my mum has. My mum's 
she works really hard. I mean, she's like come from working in a rag factory to working in a video shop to working as an accountant. There. You better say hello, mom, to you now, man. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's that is good though. That is that is so fantastic. You know, just to say hello to mum is amazing. Mm. So I mean, that means you're proud of her, man. That's that's cool. I'm proud of all my family. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so Alba, you know, you know, you know, become an actor, mm. uh, a director. Actually, has anyone? Where did you get the inspiration from? Where did you get the idea from? To become an actor and a director. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think it was when I st when I was young. Um, I really enjoyed watching movies um, and started researching into it, um, how films are made and stuff like that. And in, in the beginning, because I came in your show before and I mentioned that I was discouraged from sort of doing it in the beginning because parents, you know, they wanted to become a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. So I never really pr actively pursued it uh, when I was young. But it was only when I went to college with Ben and uh, we, we got exposed to multimedia and sort of the variety of it and everything like that. That's when I started to pick up and really research into it. And, um, you know, for me, in terms of who inspires me, it's everyday people in my life. Like these guys, my family, my friends, my colleagues. Literally, I came from work today and my colleague, uh, Valerie, I don't know if she's watching, and Neil, uh, uh, they inspire me. Um, and, and this all sort of, you know, uh, helps would, me. Would you choose one name? One name? Uh, one name, I mean, someone you really really look up to, or you think you want to be like that person? I'd say it's my parents especially my mom you know she's been through a lot and the fact that she's still standing today um, it's a testament to you know um, her inner strength so yeah I, I look at her every day and and so um, I do it for her yeah so you know uh, it's, it's, it's uh, amazing to you know hear you guys both of you guys mentioned mom actually um, a lot of mom things you know we don't even think about them Mm. Yeah, because we can express, I can't do that to my mom as well. I can't just go and hug my mom and say, Mom, I love you. No, it's, 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 it's the cultural way, maybe, it's a mature man. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I think the more we say in those lines, it's, it, it will make difference. It will make difference. Can I come to you? Um, I tell my mom that I love her every day. Oh. How, about you, how about dad then? How about you, daddy? Um, he actually passed away earlier okay. this year, but I told him that as well. <laughs> that I don't know if it's like a girl thing, you tell your parents more, I don't know. Could be, yeah, they're more, I don't know, could be, could, could be, yeah. But you, you're always going to have a mummy's boy like me, yeah. <laughs> or Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. No, it's a good thing, <laughs> I don't apologise. Um, why do you want to become an actor? Um, why? Yeah, or I mean, is that something you dream about? Is that something you... Yeah, I, I just love performing, really, and I see myself, I don't have to become famous, I just want to do it for a living, and that, that's all I want. Do you, do you do any other dramas or do you go to any theatre or do you just, are you only working with... Oh no, I, I do a few productions at the same time, so working on a film and did um, a TV episode which came out a few weeks ago in America actually. Oh, yeah. right, please mention that, how was, how was that? Uh, yeah, that was um, to do with martial arts, it was the origins of Wing Chun and it was called uh, Kung Fu Nun, that episode, and I was the nun. <laughs> So I had to train for that. Oh, awesome. oh, great. Thank you for making me famous now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great. That's, that, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's how, you, how, did, how did you meet Ashwell then? How did you? I auditioned. So mm. I wow, that's great. You're lucky, yeah. man. <laughs> oh, I that's feel really lucky. Oh, great. Do you look up to anyone? I know that both of us said, Mum, please don't say Mum. I am going oh, to say, say Mum. Oh, yeah? I'm going to say my Mum. Okay, I'm going to say Mum too. <laughs> <laughs> mum, I love it's you. A, it's a Mum day too. Really. No, no, that is great. I mean, Th that is important to say it, but honestly, yeah. I think yeah. this is something missing. Um, especially um, Asian communities, we don't say that a lot. Mm. I don't know if it's in Hong Kong or not, but in, in Asia, I'm talking about mm. Bangladeshi background, uh, that's where I'm from. Mm. I never heard my dad said to my mom, oh, mom, I love you. I never said, yeah. I never heard them all I don't my think big brother. it gets said as commonly. <laughs> and it's not that they don't love, Yeah, they do, but yeah. we can't express it, it. Yeah, we don't say it as much. That is so, <laughs> yeah. I hope we learn that, and honestly. Yeah. And, uh, like I never heard. Well, my dad said it to me a few times, but oh. really rare. Like, uh, I, like he loves me, but he, like, like you said, he wouldn't really um, openly express it. Hey, son, I love you today. You know, what did you get up to today? <laughs> he was like, it's kind of like it wouldn't really sort of happen like that. Uh, but I would, I, for me, even though he didn't say it, I know that the fact that he looked after me and he fed us and raised us, that is sort of love, um, in in its own way. So. 
It's weird. It's sort of, it's sort of embarrassing for men to admit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Why, yeah. Is Why, Why is that? My dad would It's artificial, isn't it? It's artificial being yeah. mature. Yeah. I mean, like I'm not going to say it. Masculine, yeah. And and so but we do say it to our wives and the girlfriends and whoever you name it. It's weird. The isn't weird it? thing is, I mean, to actually be able to expose your feelings like that would be a sign of strength. And if people remember that, I think it'd be a lot easier for people to connect. Mm. Yeah. Ben, you, you've been to um, local um, college or university together. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about your um, interaction with other communities. How, how was it? Well, it's a very... People think nowadays we're not interacting enough. Mm. That's not true in the old case, man. Yeah. Uh, well, in college, I mean, the best thing about... Because we're both in multimedia design at mm. Town Hamlet's College. On that. We had a lot of like-minded people, so we had mm. shared the same interests and yeah. we also shared the same computer room with mm. people with other courses, made loads of friends, like friends I'm still in contact with today. Too, yeah. uh, I think we need more social interactions though. Yeah. But the ones I had there, I mean, were fantastic. I learned a lot about, I mean, I, w I went to school with a lot of Bangladeshi youth as well. I went to mm. Langley Park School and I learned a lot about their culture there and like all about other people's cultures. I think, you know, we should do more not integration, but just, you know, communication, mm. rather than sort of... I think it makes life easy. You talk to people, say anything you yeah. want to say. Hi, hello, yeah, I think stuff like that. It makes for it me, easy. personally, I know that it was highlighted by um, uh, the British Prime Minister, former British Prime Minister, David Cameron, that there is a lack of integration within the country from no, certain still on. There are other people yeah. you know, from the but old side. But there are some truth in it, though. We can't say yeah, all I'm false. Totally, I'm truth. not denying it. Yeah. I, I think it definitely in different communities, there is that, that isolation from not integrating. But also at the same time, and I mentioned this before, you have to be careful that integration doesn't become assimilation. Mm. Uh, it's forced upon. Um, we have to come together uh, in our common values. Because um, let's be honest, you know, both of us are Muslim. So, you know, I can't go out and have a drink with Ben in a pub. Um, I can have a glass of water and stuff like that. Uh, so th th there's a compromise that needs to be made uh, on both sides. You know, and certain things that you can't do because your religion doesn't permit it, um, or there's certain things that they might not agree with. So, you know, there's that social cohesion. There is a conflict there. But if you can overlook that um, and, and sort of, you know, come together on things that you do agree on, then, you know, that's integration, you know. And, you know, I think we are integrating, but yeah, there are pockets of of communities you know, across the country where, you know, um, there is a lack of integration, you know. Um, and, um, yeah, I guess it depends also on where people live. Some yeah. people prefer to live where um, they're comfortable with and they want to be close to the community that they recognize and other people um, want to embrace diversity and, and, you know, you know, what are different That's communities true. You know, like, you, the things you guys do in uh, making movies and all that stuff, mm. Is there a lot of opportunities for our young people, you think? There are a lot of excessive, or they could go and do something, they make their career, they make a lot of money. Is mm. there any? I think anything mm. in life, if you want it, then you'll find ways to make it happen. Mm. Is it easy to get into that life? I mean, is it easy to become an actor, you think? No, no it's not easy. It's but if you want it, then you'll go yeah. for it. And you'd be hard working. There are opportunities there. What do you expect um, people to do? Say, I, I, if mm. I want to become an actor, what do you mm. expect me to learn and do? Start Certain acting. courses? <laughs> yeah, start acting, yeah. I think, firstly, you've got to love what you do. How's that? Not right? just do it because <laughs> someone expects you to do it. Or that it's cool or it's, it's the new thing that's trending. Um, I think, first thing, watch, watch movies, watch TV. And, and if, if you like what you see and the fact that you like the, the art of acting and performance, then that's already your sort of entry into getting into acting because you've seen it, you, you've watched it and you want to experience it. Um, and then after that, um, ask your friends, family, you know, um, there are opportunities out there. Um, you, s you do have to sort of get out there and look for it. I did a, I did a little short course and... Oh, okay, uh, you've yeah, done I was going to ask you, there's certain things we have to do. Like yeah, it's tricky. I, w I was unemployed for a while, I don't know if you guys know. Um, and They know now. Yeah. They know now, <laughs> yeah. I, I was unemployed for a while and decided to do a little short course. Um, uh, it was with a company called Four Corners in Bethlehem Green. Um, and they were funded by the, the lottery. Um, and, it and it was for people who were unemployed or um, on job seekers or part-time work. And it was really, really beneficial. But I didn't come across it until I attended a film festival with a couple of friends. And then you're wondering, how did I come across a film festival? I came across a film festival on the internet uh, when I was Googling, you know, trying to, uh, you know, how do I make a film? How do I submit it? You know, and it's, the, the internet is a powerful tool. 
um, you'd be very surprised. And then from there, you can sort of start finding opportunities. And again, friends and family, they may know, uh, you know, a work placement or an apprenticeship or something like that, um, that, you know, could get you interested and open doors for you. How did you get into the place you, you know, the thing you're done in for American stuff? How did you get into it? Um, that's just going to auditions, really, going to casting. So what did you have to go through? It would be interesting for our viewers to know. Normally I go on acting websites, that's how she found me. Yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, for that one, I was actually a, a casting through Facebook, which doesn't Again, happen that often. Internet. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> internet. Yeah. It's a big tool. Uh, did you have to do it. any acting, like when you met them? Interview, acting? Um, for, for when I met so she? No, know. for the American one. Yeah, I had to do some Wing Chun, because it was about Wing Chun. <laughs> okay. So they had someone there doing a move, and I just had to copy them each move and that was the audition but I think um, when you go to any sort of castings or interviews for any job it's people they like you as a person more than your mm, skills that's mm. true so what, when I met she if I didn't like she I wouldn't have gone on to classified freaks but I liked yeah. him as a human being that was important that uh, that we sort of um, go on uh, professionally but also on a personal level because a lot when you're filmmaking and you're or you're an actor it, it can be very tough very long hours um, you go hungry, not literally like, you know, a hunger strike, but <laughs> <laughs> um, it, is, it can be mentally and physically It's brilliant. a hard work, yeah. definitely. It's a hard work. I don't think work. people understand it. And also, the acting industry, there's a lot of rejection. Um, and unfortunately, that's just part and parcel of, of the industry. And you have to have a bit of a thick skin. Good. I, um, think. I want you to say something to our viewers. Oh, Your last okay. say, um, <laughs> about 30 minutes. 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> 30 seconds. Well, what should I say? Uh, <laughs> I say, um, you know, pursue your dreams, um, obviously um, ignore the naysayers, take the advice that people give you, obviously, and then make your decisions overall. And in regards to generational gap, communicate, because that's the most important thing, opening up a dialogue with your parents, your grandparents, sit down and tell them how you're feeling, and you'd be surprised, you know, uh, you'll end up having a conversation all day with them. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, right. that's what I would say. Ben, your last word to our viewers, what would you say? Uh, actually, I'm sure. If you want, second. if you want something, go for it. Uh, most things you can find on the internet these days. I found out how you can build an arc furnace to forge metal out of a microwave. You could <laughs> just search for it and yeah. and start today. We can do it. Fantastic. Yourself, what would you like to say to everyone? Uh, actually, a snippet from what my grandpa to told me: yeah. whatever you do, everything that you do, respect yourself and other people, because it's more important to be a good person than anything yeah. else. Remember we said we're going to do a, we've only got two minutes, but we're going to do a bit of acting, man. <laughs> what happened? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what happened. I, I lost the script. <laughs> you know, you lost yeah. the script. No. Yeah. <laughs> we've lost the script. You know what? I really enjoyed it today. It showed how much we care about our oldest. It showed yeah. how much we care about our mothers. Mm. It, it, it's amazing. I mean, a lot of things people think, assume things, mm. oh, they don't like us, or they don't respect us anymore, and stuff like that. It's not the case. Sometimes you might be not noticing what you're yeah. doing actually and it goes beyond that. Um, dear viewers, you've been watching us and um, I'm sure you enjoyed the experience of those guys and they have a lot of experience and um, I really enjoyed it honestly. I learned and uh, you made me say I love your mum today. It's, it's <laughs> I said that before as well but you know I was like almost forced to it. You guys are saying it all On the TV. time. <laughs> it's fantastic. You know but we need to, um, to bring the uh, gap closer I mean mm. it's so important that's the only way we can bond it again with this community community is quite shaky at the moment you know a lot of divorces a lot of this a lot of that people don't care anymore man there's no hello there's no morning there's nothing there anymore and especially olders it's our duty it's my duty to come to you guys and say good morning or hello assalamu alaikum and uh, do you need any help if I can't even do this part what do I, what am I expecting young people to come to me and say something mm. like that isn't that wrong would I want my kid going to the old man and say, hello, uncle? No, I wouldn't want that. We, want it, we expect older to say it because we have more responsibility, we have more experience, we know how to say it. The words, even the words are so important. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we said anything, I'm sure uh, you enjoyed it. If we said anything wrong, please do forgive us and um, stay with us and make dua, lots of dua for us, inshallah. And please forgive us if we said anything wrong. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you.